Well, many rappers would begin to be censored or arrested, including prominent members from a West London gang named 1011. Today, oh yeah! Large band Damn! Young drill art. Damn, be what the fuck? They rico them boys, twin! By like, yeah, five niggas! Just cause like they were just making music and shit, fam? That's what that's diggity before before that hey before he even blew up type shit. from performing or uploading songs that incite violence. In 2017, a group of rappers hailing from Ladbrook Grove within West London would begin to gain loads of attention on YouTube. These rappers included Horrid One. Remember the police right at the spot. Cause that nigga tell the they got the drop. My wrist in the ball and I start with my clock. Then young nigga pushing, they finna get popped. And my daddy told me nigga stop the block, but the nigga don't need fucking cuss the spot. So my brother asked me if I'm in it or not. Well, you know I'ma ride a world hot for my spot. I put down the pistol, let me to the flock. I was smoking on flock and touching on the mop. And you know I'ma rob him if he hop or not. Young nigga to stand in front of the cop. Me and money be lurking, twisting off the top. When you start getting money, niggas on your cock. With a real trap, I just came out the slot. Long list snap, my nigga done got shot. Ain't no nigga. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Cash Out Fable, and I'm back with another reaction. I'm back with another video. I'm back with another. You feel me, bro? I ain't gonna lie. I haven't did a UK drill reaction in a minute, and I got y'all boys with with a couple more reactions on UK drilling shit, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Like I'm gonna go like this whole month. I got y'all niggas with UK drill, Portugal drill, Dallas drill, Chicago drill, New York drill. I got y'all with everything, fam. I got y'all. You know what I'm saying? And like. Don't ask me to bring twin in my bitch, bro. That shit dead, gang. Like, that shit dead. That shit the past, bruh. I don't fuck with that buddy no more. I'm pretty sure I dropped the beat on it. But for all my UK supporters that have been watching me since day one, no, no, I had bro my vid since like day one and shit. Like, I got a whole vid explaining like why I don't mess with bro no more. And I'll never fuck with bro again. Like, I, I would never fuck with that man again, fam, because that was some slime ball ass shit he pulled on me. I ain't gonna lie. Like, niggas was just using me for, for a name and shit, bruh. That shit sad as fuck. But we're gonna keep this shit pushing, we're gonna keep grinding, going crazy, fam. But, hey, straight to it. Visible. The wireless company that makes things visible. With us, what you see is. Now, UK drill is a subgenre of the drill and road rap genre. The UK drill genre has gained a lot of attention in recent years, as it's a British style of gangster rap that incorporates styles previously used in Chicago, which is where the genre drill actually started. Before the genre UK drill started to emerge, a genre known as road rap was prominent. This was heavily popularized by rappers like Giggs, and it's clear to see that the road rap genre is still prevalent within UK drill. Now, UK drill and drill as a whole has been a genre that has been historically controversial controversial, with the young people rapping under these genres, mostly depicting the dangerous and harsh lifestyle of poverty and growing up surrounded by gangs, with the most common topic within these songs being harsh lyrics that depict the gang life. Due to the explicit lyrics often mentioned within these UK drill songs, police have begun to highly censor and even delete videos uploaded by young UK drill rappers, with a question even arising in recent- Hey, y'all boys send me some UK drill music right now, twin. Send me some shit from UK drill, bruh. From the UK. Real shit. But yeah, the feds been on y'all ass, bro. For the past 20... Yeah, they been on y'all ass bad. No cap. Does UK drill music incite and lead to more knife and gun violence between young people? Now, during the early 2010s, two collectives in Southeast London would begin to have a rivalry with each other. These groups being 150 and 67. Now, 150 is often credited to have pioneered the UK drill genre. 150 is a gang based around the Angel Town estate within Brixton. During the 2010s, rappers from 150, like Styx, Grizzy, and M Darg, started to incorporate the early UK drill style within their music, with songs like What Up and Salute gaining a lot. Of attention. However, it would be their main rivals, 6 7, who would begin to use new beats from producers like Carnes Hill. This new style strayed away from its Chicago roots, and thus a new genre would be created. This being UK Drill, 6 7 would actually gain a lot of attention in the early days of UK Drill, with songs like Let's Lurk and Live Corn, both being early songs that until this day have been considered legendary UK Drill. Yeah, those, those some legendary ass songs, no cap. Y'all niggas put me on to that shit for sure. Songs. The people rapping around this time all hailed from. 
from poorer parts of London and were wrapping what they had experienced and what had become normal around them. Now, the police would begin to watch UK drill in the early years. However, at first, there was no problem as the genre was still new. However, in 2014, a young rapper hailing from the 6-7 set named Scribs would be arrested and handed an ASBO by police. This banned him from making and performing music. This lasted two years, and this would be the first instances of police censoring drill. However, this wouldn't stop Scribs, and following this, he would begin to rap under another alias. This being LD, he would also begin to rap with the iconic LD mask around this time. His first tune following the issue of his ASBO would be a song titled Live Corn, which blew up and currently sits on over 7 million views. This would be one of the first instances of police trying to censor drill. Over the next few years following the blow-up of UK drill, many rappers would begin to be censored or arrested, including prominent members from a West London gang named 1011. Today, oh yeah! Judge banned Damn! Young drill art. Damn, be what the fuck? They rico them boys, twin. By like, yeah, five niggas. Just cause like they were just making music and shit, fam. That's what that's diggity before before that. Hey, before he even blew up, type shit. From performing or uploading songs that incite violence. In 2017, a group of rappers hailing from Ladbrook Grove within West London would begin to gain loads of attention on YouTube. These rappers included Horrid One, Digga D, and Savo. They would release songs like No Hook and Play for the Pagans, gaining a lot of attention. However, during yeah. 2017, Digga D and other 1011 members would be stopped whilst driving a car onto rival territory, being nearby Shepherd's Bush. The police would search the car and would confiscate multiple knives, baseball bats, and masks. They were and they was trying to slide, twin. Hey, they had baseball bats, they had knives, they had gloves, they had a mask, and all. They was trying to slide on some shit. Knowing like the UK, you can't even have a pole, fam, so you just go out to slide with a knife and a, and, a, and a bat type shit, twin. No cap. I'll be arrested on the scene. The, case, the 10 11 members would argue that they were on their way to a music video shoot. However, 10 11's actual lyrics would be used against them within court in order to prove that the members were looking to catch nah. the position members of nearby group 12 Anti. The 10 11 members what? would all be jailed and would also be issued with a court order that prevented them from making music without police permission. See, if one of these members wanted to upload a song, they would have to send the song to police and notify them within 24 hours of a new song being released. Additionally, the members had to give 48 hours notice of the date and location of any performance as what police the had to fuck, be This was put in place as months prior to the court Yo. where a member of a rival gang to 1011 named T-Wiz would actually be stabbed to death outside of his home and it would be following this that 1011 would heavily mock T-Wiz due to his involvement with rivals. The court order also banned the members from mentioning areas, names, and weapons within songs. It was very clear around this time that police were beginning to censor the genre with police censoring these rappers, stopping them from escaping the street life. Due to the popularization of drill around this time, police would begin to notice a trend, this being knife and gun violence following drill tracks being uploaded by gangs. For example, a gang would upload a diss yo, dissing their rock. Yo, you, UK government lame as fuck, bruh. They're lame as fuck, fam. They started the band drill music for what, fam? For what? The fuck, that's some dumb ass shit I just heard, twin. Like, they, they try to ban that shit for real. Like, you can't mention, like, the block or nothing, bitch. You gotta send them. You gotta, they gotta hear the song before you even drop it. Hell nah, bruh. This Fuck being knife shit. and gun violence following drill tracks being uploaded by gangs. For example, a gang would upload a diss track dissing their rivals, and following the upload, the rivals would attack the members who made the song. This then leads to the question, does drill worsen gang and knife violence in and around London? Since the explosion of UK drill, the knife crime statistics within London have actually soared, and in 2023, the statistics Damn. would actually soar by 20%. However, UK drill can't be the only thing to blame, as gangs within London have been a problem for decades before the music and modern UK drill rappers are just rapping what they have experienced in their surroundings, as they are often groomed into this gang lifestyle, with it becoming normal for these rappers. However, over the next few years, police would intervene and actually stop young UK drill rappers from performing. In 2019, for the first time in history, a UK drill rapper would be arrested for performing their own song. It would be in 2018 that both rappers Skengdo and AM from the 410 Collective would release Attempted 1.0. This was a rude song. The members would diss all of their rivals. However, police 
police would start to watch the pair, as they were gaining a lot of attention in the scene. At the end of 2018, Skengdo and AM would be handed a gang injunction by police. This prevented them from performing rap music that police believed incited violence. However, it would Damn. be in January 2019 that Skengdo and AM would be handed a suspended jail sentence after breaching the gang injunction, with the main culprit being the song Attempted 1.0, with police also stating they believed Skengdo and AM were associated with gangs. However, they had no evidence to support this claim. This was the first- They had no evidence that they still- Bruh, like, what the fuck, fam, mate? First time in British legal history- Hell no, fam. Due to the performance of I could not live in the UK, bruh. January 2021, the gang injunction would end, with both rappers being allowed to make music without any censorship. Now, police wouldn't stop there, and they would actually begin to take down music videos released. This was basically unheard of around 2016 and 17. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie, they took one of my videos down before too. They actually gave my channel a strike, twin. Like on some real shit. Like they actually gave my channel a strike. And I don't, I forgot what vid I was reacting to. It was like the zone two. It had everybody in zone two, twin. Like I forgot what song it was called, but like it was disrespectful as hell. Like it had everybody in zone two. Like nigga had everybody in zone two. And I did a reaction on it. You feel me with me and me and, and me and bro, and like it ended up, like my channel ended up getting a strike because of it. And then a few months later, I got another strike, fam. Reacting to Abe Sav. So like the UK, I don't know who the fuck the government over there is. What, what type of twelve they got over there, fam? But my channel almost got deleted. Reacting to UK drill, fam. Real shit. With videos I ain't even gonna count. Around this time, my channel almost got deleted, twin. That were banned, with an early instance of this being a song from B-Side titled Where They All Hiding, where the rappers in the song would actually travel onto their op block being Penj and record a music video. Police saw this as influencing the ongoing rivalry and would take down the video. Whilst this was rare at the time, this has actually become quite common with police taking down hundreds of music videos each year. In July 2023, an article would be released by DJ Mag. This article showed statistics, stating recent Recent statistics showed a 1,360% increase in UK drill music taken down by the police since 2020, being a three-year time gap. In 2020, police requested the takedown of 125 UK drill music videos. In 2022, the police would request the takedown of 510 music videos, with YouTube taking down 97% of these videos. This then meant aspiring artists that were stuck in the streets would be impacted, because at the end of the day, how can we expect to stop gang crime when the youth involved don't see a way out? Around 2018 and 2019, certain words would begin to be censored within UK drill songs, with words that portrayed opposition members, opposition territory and weapons being heavily censored. This is why we often hear small vocal glitches and sound effects to block out certain words. It would also be in recent years that UK drill rappers would begin to live stream themselves on apps like Instagram and TikTok, with instances of police harassing these rappers becoming very common in the live streams. It's clear no other genre has been targeted as much as UK drill, with Chicago drill and New York drill never being targeted, thus leading to Chicago and New York rappers blowing up and gaining mainstream success, with rappers like Lil Durk, D Thang, and Chief Keef all blowing up and getting themselves out of the hood, which is something we- Yeah, Lil Durk and Chief Keef and all them boys, they been put on type shit. D Thang? Shit, I don't know too much about bro. That boy K Flock though? Hell yeah, that boy, hey, that boy, hey. Free that boy K Flock, bruh. Real shit. We don't that boy K Flop, bro. As rappers invest all of their money into studio time and music videos just to have their music censored or deleted due to the content of their song, often rapping about their personal experiences within the streets. Around the end of 2020, a police unit would be set up in order to target UK drill rappers and their music that would be deemed inciting violence. This what? police unit would mean that police had power to vet lyrics and videos before they are posted on platforms like Mixtape Madness and Press Play Media. And whilst a lot of people often critique the lyrics said with in drill for its violent nature. You must remember that drill as a genre has been a raw genre for decades. An example of this would be Chicago around the 2010s, when it became normal for rappers to diss Tuka, who was a 15-year-old member of STLEBT that was killed by rival members. And whilst lyrics in the UK drill songs are often controversial, another thing to note is that these rappers are often pushed out by society and are at the very bottom of society. So how can future artists break out of the poverty cycle when police are constantly censoring and deleting music made by these artists? And 
Realistically, banning drill then silences the voice that combats the government and streets, which is something that everyone has the right to do. And if drill is banned, the problem will still be present. Hey, salute to that boy UK Drill Plug, bruh. Like, deadass, that nigga deadass came up on, on some subscribers. GC actually came up with some shit, fam. Like, nigga been doing this shit since day one, fam. Salute to that nigga, bro. Real shit. Hey, love, bro. Love, bro. Real shit. I fuck with your content, fam. I got more reactions on the way with your shit, too. A big reason we didn't see this much crime happening in the early 2010s is that no one was documenting it. However, today, it is very easy to reference incidents within the streets in UK drill songs. Now, in 2022, police officers would shoot dead a member of the 6-7 Collective, named Chris Kaba, in Streetham Hill, London. After Chris Kaba would refuse to exit his vehicle, he would then be shot dead by a police officer what the fuck? in September 2023. They be shooting niggas over there, too? Oh hell no! Nah. Don't no cops be trigger happy. I thought it was like a, a USA thing, bitch. No cap, cause the police over here, fam. Like especially in Florida, fam. They do not play, fam. Like no cap. They 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 so trigger happy. They ready to shoot your ass, fam. No cap. Oh shit. Like hey, in Florida, fam. They ready to boom your shit, twin. Like dead ass. I seen it with my two eye, my own two eyes. I got pulled over, twin. I looked over, bruh, bruh, ready to blow my, bruh, I'm telling you, when I, when I look, when I went like this, I said, I put my window down, I said, I didn't even say that, this nigga looked at my twin, like he me mugging, like he clutching hard as fuck, like he was gonna blow my shit backwards, twin, and mind you, it was a simple ass traffic stop, I'm like, yo, fam, what you got going on? Like, what you got going on type shit? You feel me? What, what you got going on type shit, fam? Like, you just, you know, you just like, what you got going? You know what I'm saying? Like, real shit. I ain't know they, hey, I, I ain't know they do that shit in, in the UK, bro. Real shit. Hey, hey. Fuck 12, nigga. Fuck 12. Real shit. Fuck 12, man. Cause I ain't know they did that shit. Bro, like, I'm trying to tell y'all boys. I ain't know they, like, y'all boys. I ain't know they did that shit in the UK, bruh. It's like, bruh. Damn, bruh. I, I I never knew 12 had guns, too. I never knew 12 could have guns and shit. But, but guns is illegal. Like, it, it's illegal in fucking UK, fam. Like, it makes no sense to me, fam. Like, comment down below, bruh. If you from the UK, bruh, let me know what the fuck they got going on. Because 12 shooting at... Shooting at niggas with no weapons on them is crazy. All cause bro ain't wanna get out the car. Y'all shot him? I could never live there, fam. Hell nah, bro. What the fuck? Chris Kaba in Streetham Hill, London. After Chris Kaba would refuse to exit his vehicle, he was Look. shot dead by a police officer. What the fuck? In September 2023, a 40 year old police officer would be arrested and charged for the murder. The trial is expected oh, yeah. to in October 2024. Fuck, rest boy. in peace, Chris Kaba. Hey, rest in peace. Hey, hey, get that 12. Life, nigga. Member. Give him life, life, nigga. Give him life, nigga. Like fuck you talking about, life. nigga. Would actually yeah. also be handed a censor on his music, meaning he had to send. Oh, uh, that's why he don't drop like that no more. There were concerns his lyrics were inciting violence. Damn, Since then, bro. multiple articles have come out covering his story. He would be quoted saying, "I didn't know how hard it is to get drill on the radio." This censor on Chinks would be following his song "Secrets Not Safe," gaining loads of attention after it was released in 2022. And this isn't a problem only exclusive to London. A rapper from Birmingham named R45 would actually drop a song titled "Southern Fried." However, this video would quickly be taken down by the West Midlands police following its release. Man, fuck them niggas, bro. What the fuck? Hey, fuck West Midlands Police Department. They some hoes, cuz. What the fuck? Email stating that he was Hell a nah. person fuck them West niggas, bro. Police and was known to be a Hey, hey, y'all tell them niggas in, in UK. Tell, tell them 12 niggas. Tell them I said fuck you, nigga. Real shit. T hey, I want y'all to screen record this part right here. And like, and like, if y'all walking by 12, bro. Screen record this shit right here, right? Fuck 12, nigga! And then send it to them type shit, you feel me? Like, fuck 12, nigga! Cash out Fable said, fuck you, nigga! Fuck 12, nigga. Real shit, I don't fuck you. What the fuck, I love you. You won't. What the fuck? 
Man, I, I love my little, I love my little shit, cuz, but she be pissing me off, cuz, no cap. Remember, this email also stated that the song would cause real-world violence between two gangs. The police would then reference comments posted on the music video for their information on the song. Now in conclusion, I ask you, do you agree that UK drill leads to an increase in knife and gang crime? I believe everyone has a right to free speech, and banning or censoring UK drill is not helping the real situation here. Being youths that are often forced into the lifestyle killing each other for ultimately no reason whatsoever. However, they believe they have to fight for a postcode that they don't own. I believe Drill can help a lot of these youths stuck in the poverty cycle and sense hey, hey, makes it hard for these hey, to escape. Hey, y'all niggas, stay out the streets, bruh. You either gonna go to jail or you gonna get your ass boomed. You feel me? For all my UK youngins, you feel me? That be watching me and shit, twin. Go get a bag. Fuck bitches. Stay out the way. Simple. And you can still say fuck 12, because I don't fuck with 12, bro. They some hoes, bro. Bro, you could be a civilian ass nigga, bro. And they gonna try to hold your ass, like, on some shit. Like, they gonna try your ass, man. Like, real shit, twin. I seen it with my, my own two eyes. I'm telling you. I'm telling y'all boys. It's a true story, bro. Bro, I'm driving, twin. I look to my left, twin. I look to my left, twin. I got pulled over, right? It's a traffic stop. A simple ass traffic stop. I look to my left twin. This nigga already clutching out his pole. Like he trying to blow some shit, cuz. And like, it wasn't only him, cuz. He had a partner too, cuz. They hopped out like they was finna slide on like on me, cuz. Like, I swear to God. You know what I'm saying? Like they hopped out like they was finna slide on a nigga. Like, bruh, his man's looking at the back seat with his flashlight. I'm telling, bruh, bruh. Ain't nobody back there, twin. He like, bro, I can see it with my own two eyes. Then I'm like, why the fuck you trying to like? I guess he was trying to look for something or whatever, fam. But he was just moving like, like a gook ass nigga, fam. Like a gook. And like this fuck nigga right here talking about some. He didn't even ask for my ID or nothing. He said, you were in a stop sign. Hey, I ain't gonna lie, y'all boys. I did not run no stop sign, bro. I snapped on that. I snapped, I snapped on 12, bro. Real shit. He pissed me off, fam. Like, I snapped on, bro. And then, bro, ended up giving me a ticket on some bullshit. And then, like, it, it is what it is, Ty C. You feel me? But, hey, y'all boys, spend my WZ chat, Amazon chat, most gated chat. If I should do more UK drill reactions, comment down below, bro. Hit me in my DMs. Show me that love in the comments. We're going crazy. I appreciate all the love and support, man. Cash Cool Lit. BJ with a mob, cash out, fable, cashing out, straight motion, bruh.